Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Tweak My Device. I want to talk about Ice Cream Sandwich, the brand new version of Android. This is Android 4.0. It merges Honeycomb, which was made for tablets, with Gingerbread, which was the latest iteration on the smartphones. Um, Ice Cream Sandwich brings with it support for more hardware features, such as NFC and dual core processors. It will help to pave the way for a smooth interface between smartphones, tablets, and internet TVs, among other things. A lot of really cool stuff coming from Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. And it's been ported to quite a few devices now with some early release builds. A lot of things may uh, not function, such as you know some of the radios like Wi-Fi, um, capacitative touch may be off a little. There could be a few irregularities. It's not going to be a daily driver just yet. If you want to try ice cream sandwich on your Bionic, I'm going to show you how to do that. This one is running Purity 2.4 with the Zoom add-on pack. One thing you want to make sure is that you have not installed Bionic Bootstrap. There's several forums where the ROM is available. I've been reading on droidforums.net. I'll put the link to that here, and you can grab the ROM right here, the Alpha 2 Preview. And it's also available on Roots Wiki. Thanks to dhacker for posting both of these. And here is the download here in Roots Wiki. Now check the link under this video for Hashcode's blog. You'll need to download the Bionic Safe Strap. This is similar to Kush's Clockwork Mod Recovery, except this accesses a second system of the phone. This actually lets you flash zip files in a safe mode type of environment on your smartphone. It's useful for flashing Cyanogen Mod ROMs, and in this case, we're going to use it to flash this new Ice Cream Sandwich port to our Bionic. So once you've downloaded SafeStrap, and the ice cream sandwich ROM. We have those right here on our desktop. And we'll go ahead and plug the Bionic right up for mass storage. So make sure you choose your SD card window. Select both of these, the safe strap and the ice cream sandwich ROM. I'm just going to click on that top bar and control V to paste them on my storage card. Now we'll continue on the Bionic. We're going to go into our storage card. And let's go ahead and install the safe strap. And now that safe strap is installed, let's open it. We have the ROM zip file on our storage card as well get past the warranty screen. We'll go ahead and select install recovery. Once complete, just exit out of that back to the home screen. And in order to enter recovery, I'm just going to select Reboot and prepare to hit the Menu button. When you see the different splash screen, hit the Menu button and voila, you have entered Safe Strap Recovery. Note it says Safe System is disabled. And while we're in non safe mode, we want to go ahead and make a backup. So let's select this top option to back up. Let's back up to our external card. I haven't made a lot of changes to WebTop, so I'm just going to select no to that. Okay, that took like eight years to back up. Seriously, it took about seven or eight minutes. Once you have your backup, now you'll go into the Safe Boot menu. And this top option is Toggle Safe System. We're going to go ahead and toggle that now. Yes, Enable Safe System. 
this does another backup and it takes a while so just be patient. Great, now we've completed with no errors and at the top you can see safe system is currently enabled. So we're going to go back and under mounts and storage we're going to go down here to format system. Once that's finished, go back and we want to install zip from SD card like we do with normal ROMs. And the ROMs on our external card. Here it is, ICS for Bionic. Okay, and when the ROM install is complete, we're going to go back. And now we're going to wipe data and cache. Great, and once that's complete, you can select the top option to reboot system now. Look at that. Ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0 on your Bionic. So let's look into settings. Now you're going to notice that menus will disappear, but if you scroll, they'll show back up. Go down to About Phone. And you can see Android version 4.0.1, XT875, this is the Bionic. CM9. So this is just the very beginning of things to come. If you look in here to developer options, things like USB debugging make the device stay awake. You can actually look at your CPU usage, change your graphics usage, change your graphics processing, so that's a cool new menu. Security, you can change your screen lock. Passwords, make them visible or not. Nothing showing up in accounts. Your wireless connections do not work on this build. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you won't have a data connection. The camera also doesn't work, but let's look into the app drawer. And this will tell you about adding an app to your home screen, touch and hold it. So we don't have a lot installed. Um, apparently the storage card isn't mounted, so several things aren't going to work that need to access it. Movie Studio. Ooh, I'm going to love that. Create a video on the phone. Can't wait for that. Yep, it doesn't see any storage for my device so none of these things are going to work but just browsing through these new apps for you guys check out oh that calendar looks pretty sick I'm trying to get it here we go check out a month view this Bionic is not the first, but it's one of the first devices to get Ice Cream Sandwich. The messaging app looks pretty neat. If we go to add a new message, you can select to put an attachment on your stock messaging software. It's pretty neat. 
and it's pretty glitchy of course we can check out the settings settings look pretty similar to our current message settings in gingerbread and a really neat looking dial pad for the phone I like that a lot better than the original gingerbread and we can check out some phone settings we have internet calling voicemail settings quick responses you can edit all of those and here you can select a different wallpaper Let's see what comes included. That's pretty cool. So a lot of these we've already seen in custom ROMs. And our notification center. You see we have no service. And there is a link to the settings button up there in the top notification area right there pretty neat guys one of the very first builds of ice cream sandwich on the bionic gotta love it thanks to the developers thanks to hashcode for safe strap recovery thanks to dhacker thanks to droid theory thanks to everybody that made this happen everybody on the cm9 team um, this is great. Development is only going to get better and we will have a lot more features um, with this ice cream sandwich once this thing is polished and good to go for a daily driver. Take care and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.